हेलो नमस्ते इज कमिंग इज कमिंग ओके सो आई जस्ट लेट जस्ट वेट फॉर पीपल टू जॉइन एंड आई गेट आई विल जस्ट रागव विल बी विथ अस इन अ मिनट लाइक इन लाइक टू सेकेंड्स सो या ओके रागव से हो लाइन जस्ट आई डोट नो How's it going? Namaste. Hello, namaste. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm great. I'm great. Okay, wow. Yeah. So the cones coming. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Is it good? Is it good? Am I glitchy? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Your uh, I can hear you properly. I can see you properly. Amazing. It's good. Great. Yep. Okay, so okay. I think people are gonna start pouring in. So let me just start with the introduction. So uh, hi everybody, my name is Panishti Vora. I'm the co-founder of the Creative Tolly. Um, so the Creative Tolly is a one-stop desi creative industry networking platform for creative pe- freelancers to connect, collaborate, and create with work peers, creative peers, and everybody, and just create as a community. uh so yeah today we are into our third month of live sessions and this month theme is uh, purpose in creativity or creativity in purpose and uh, yeah so today is our first session of the kala baithak sessions and we are joined by none other than raghav niyatel uh long time coming collaboration i'm so glad we finally got to do this and um, yeah okay so raghav is um, Can I introduce Raghav? Uh, Raghav is a singer-songwriter uh, mm-hmm. from Delhi, and uh, right now he's based in Bombay. I mean, not right now, but he's based out of Bombay, and he released his debut album last year, "Songs uh, Songs from a Matchbox." Mm-hmm. And uh, he's also a fin- semi-finalist uh, in the other uh, re- English music reality show, The Stage. Uh, after which he quit his corporate job to pursue mm-hmm. music full time. Uh, he's also lent his voice for a couple of songs in this new Netflix original movie called What Are the Odds, which is just absolutely amazing. Like the music is really great, and it stars like Abhay Deol, Monica Dogra, and many more. Uh, so yeah, Raghav, I'm gonna uh, not talk now. So <laughs> can you tell us? A... I haven't heard a more formal introduction. Like, <laughs> are you are you are you at a press conference? <laughs> I mean, this is like a company thing, so I have to be a little formal. Uh, sure. But yeah, so yeah, Raghav, can you tell us? Like, can you like tell us a bit more about your creative journey, your motivation as you know, an independent musician in India? I mean, especially mm-hmm. Bombay, it's got to be like pretty tough. And yeah, what motivates? What motivates? Just give me a minute. Ah, my mom is listening, like watching TV really loudly, so I'm just gonna like tell her to. Okay, yeah, no problem. <laughs> What up? What up? I am up? back. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So back to yeah, the question. Yeah. So people about it. I think lots of people already know about it. Um, yeah. I mean, I've been doing this for nearly. I've been writing music for like ten years now. Um, been in this oh, wow. for a very long time, and uh, yeah, I think I I really enjoy myself, which is why I keep doing it, um, regardless of how popular the music gets. I mean, I'm just doing it for mm. myself. Uh, That's great, yeah. I think so. I'm really bad at expressing emotions in life. Okay, so I'm <laughs> really bad at saying anything and expressing things, and sort of like everything that I do, like sort of I try and brush it. If it can be brushed under the carpet, I'll brush it under the carpet. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. So, uh, so I think songwriting is a great escape for me. Uh, I've written about nearly every big. thing in my life so yeah 
that's nice that's nice yeah i mean like uh, so so like you just you just started writing and that's how you sort of got into the whole writing your own music so you started writing and then you started making yeah. music so actually like you know i i actually played with a band when i was in college okay but then the thing is with that right uh, it used to be like a lot of like trash you know what i mean like we had a song called vampires and the highway uh, one of the songs through my eyes and uh, it was it, it was basically when you see when you see when you see the world through my eyes that was the chorus of the song uh so i was a terrible terrible writer like uh, but that was also- I realized that it was a specific scope that I used to be given to write on, right? Like it used to be like, okay, you have four bars and you have to write something over it. What I started mm-hmm. doing, which I started really enjoying, was the fact that I could um, do it myself. In the sense that uh, I could, uh, you know, just like play with my guitar, play my guitar, and like write something which didn't have any like structure or anything, right? So I remember I played. Mm-hmm. Every remain at my college farewell, and like most of my class cried, and then that's when I realized that yo, I think I can write, and then that that's how right. my song began. Yeah. Wow, nice. So you made everyone cry, and then you're like, okay, now I'm gonna do this to make everybody else yeah. also cry now. <laughs> but most of the music. But I mean, the music is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, so that that's that's great. Okay, so but like now as an independent musician in Bombay, it's it's gotta be expensive. Like there's Bills to pay and like you know like moving yeah. out of your house is like so. What keeps you going? Like what's that motivation? That so uh, I mean, now I work writing. at a label. I work at a label also, so that keeps my hmm. like literally music. I I do for like when I have time and uh, I mean I still do it pretty properly, but I'm still in the music space, so that helps. Uh, but other than right. that, um, I mean like it was just motivating enough for me to like I really feel like I want to st- challenge the status quo in this industry, right? It, it's a messed up industry. Mm. Uh, it's mm. which like there is literally no support system for like a independent musician who's trying to do something. Uh, so I really want to right. disrupt that, and that's what I aim for. Like now I'm in that space where. All all the hardships that I went through when I was all these predators and all of these assholes who tried to trick me into different things, I want to like try and protect the younger lot. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, so that I think that can sort of uh, is for your current purpose in your creativity, I guess, if you could say that. So you yeah. know, like yeah. you know, you're trying to help people who are upcoming now, which is really great because I think that it's really nice to have a mentor who has experience. And someone who is like yeah. so like humble, as humble as you, and someone who is like so open and casual about everything, you know, it's really yeah. nice to sort of have someone like that to look up to. Which I'm sure, like everyone in the comments is also going nuts. Like, I mean, that's uh, <laughs> that's that's gonna happen. I mean, that's great. So, is there anything else that you're looking forward to? You know, like that. You know, when you now music was also there, but like there's, mm. um, you know, what else? What other things do you have planned for the future? Any more like purpose and uh, You know your purpose in the create in your creativity and stuff like that. I can't can't be serious with these comments. I'm just trying really hard. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you're doing. This. I haven't done such a serious Instagram live ever. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay, man. Okay, okay, we'll keep it casual. Yeah, just, just relax. Yeah. No, so I mean, uh, <laughs> I, think, uh, I think my purpose is literally just expressing myself, man. I just have fun, and I think that's pretty evident from like the kind of stuff that I do. I think I'm pretty grateful to not have any like restrictions in terms of like oh I have to please a label for my music. I feel like putting out a song, I put it out. You know what I mean? Like it's, uh, it's right. Uh, yeah. So you I have that full creative freedom to yourself. I I can put out a messed up photo of myself on Instagram because there's nobody telling me what to post and what not to post, right? So I'm literally having fun. Yeah. You know, and that's the best part. Like that's what I love about it because I don't have anything to worry about. I don't care if. More people listen to my music in Hindi. If they need to, if I write a song in Hindi, great. If I don't, I don't care. You know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you you've got all the freedom to yourself. You answer to no one but yourself, and I think that's really great as a creative person now because I mean you just your favorite thing is your job, and that is something that you really enjoy doing, which is fun. You know. I mean, yeah. like as your your main passion, which is really cool. And uh, yeah. Okay. So now in the current, like I mean. Our current lockdown has been hard for I'm sure everyone. Like there's everyone's like taking it differently, going through differently. So how have you like you know utilized your time in this lockdown, and how have you like you know 
uh yeah what have you done like in these times and is there anything you like to share <laughs> you know, i'm live on instagram every every single night i think uh, that that something i've done man so my like i i spent a lot of time at work right like uh hmm. a lot of, like i literally just finished like i haven't slept properly in two nights because i was releasing we were releasing nazi's new ep and another oh, artist that right. called, called rahi uh So yeah, I mean, I keep I keep myself really busy, and that's the kind of person I am. I can't really sit in one place for really long. Um, so I need mm. to I need to have like a shit load of. I, I sort of like kill myself for it. Then I want to kill myself by the end of it because I'll say <laughs> yes to five. And uh, yeah, yeah, I so, mean, so, mm. so, so that's the thing. Uh, I've kept myself really busy. I'm I'm actually learning how to edit videos. Uh, so that's something I've been trying to do. Uh, oh, that's song. nice. Learning a new uh, skill, yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's a new skill, and, of course, and I really enjoy it. You know, like I've made a couple of birthday videos for people. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that's really that. cool. Yeah, I'm a big content guzzler. Basically, I love content. I just keep like I'm constantly looking at new stuff. New. I love how things are edited. I try and get into the deep. Like I try and understand. Right. la marketing new things so just generally that's like how my mind works nice that's cool so always i hungry for that you know new knowledge new piece of creative thing that you can learn which is awesome like that that sort of just like okay i'm going to learn this today i'm going to learn that tomorrow i'm going to do everything and that that yeah. sort of i think that's what you've been doing and also of course conversation which is something i wanted to talk about which is like really cool which is you've been going live every single day in a cone uh, filter not an actual cone obviously but um, yeah and you've been like sort of giving a platform to so many like upcoming musicians to just play their music for whoever's listening and it has been so great okay he hasn't betrayed the community this was planned way before his wifi was like bad guys please don't hate <laughs> but uh, but yeah so that's been really nice the world what is what is the experience of the community been like Do it's amazing. Look at this. This is my family. It's really like, <laughs> like, lockdown family. It's great. Uh, so, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean it's such a great way. Like I really feel so connected to all of these guys, even though I've never met them. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I think doing something for three months consecutively um, it does to you. You know, uh, it's like mm-hmm. every day we <laughs> spend time with us, just discovering new artists, and I think we live for that. Like I live for like. Like just literally a person opening the phone and be like, "Oh my god, I wasn't expecting this," and then coming. <laughs> yeah, <out> yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. That's then, been crazy, and everyone, everyone's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm like, yeah." Everyone's just like, "Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not that great at singing," and then they sing like this beautiful song, and then exactly. everyone just say, "What is this? What's happening?" <laughs> it's been great. Like it's been such a nice. Uh, day. I yeah. got to perform on it once, and it was like really. I was really nervous, but it was so much fun. And yeah. it has been like a really like every day whenever yeah. you're live, like I'm always at like sit and comment and and, and it's, it's like a full community. Yeah, and in fact now these guys are going live from the community handle, so it's it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. And they're taking turns. So Tanvi today is going live. So Tanvi, yeah, yeah. And literally Tanvi messaged me today <laughs> saying, "How the hell do you do this?" Her Instagram was glitching, <laughs> and, and she used to be the one who used to be shitting on me the most when my live would stop abruptly. Oh yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> nice. So that that's gonna really... everyone's gonna be in your shoes. I think they're gonna know how it is now on the other side. Yeah. Um, it's not easy to be me. And, <laughs> yeah, especially the pinning game. Like your pinning game is crazy. Just like how quickly do you read the comments? I still can't uh, just think. Like that's it's it's been great. Um, right. So like now now we spoke about how you wanna like you know help musicians, upcoming musicians sort of you know find yeah. their path into this crazy industry. And do you have any like tips that you would like to share with like people who are like just have been, just been introduced to you and you know just upcoming musicians? And you say you want to. I love this interview. I love this interview. You could, you could totally be wearing a suit and have a mic like this. <laughs> It's a collaboration, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. No, so, so I think, uh, I think, uh, uh, no man. I think I'm trying to make the community a little bigger than um, an Instagram live. So I'm doing like these work weekly workshops now. So literally last week I took. 
uh, a bunch of people through how to release your music and what are the different tricks and hacks that you can use oh, oh okay uh, this Sunday i'm going to more workshops so the idea is and then i'll use some of my get some of my friends to uh, also come and like talk about stuff that you know some things like it could be a singer songwriting workshop it could be you know it can turn into like an education sort of like platform also that's really so, nice yeah, yeah because they now like yeah. people get that one on one experience to sort of you know like to, i mean it's like a smaller class i mean like yeah. small so lot of people, people and then people, yeah there were 15 people who had never released some of them had released a couple of songs but some of them hadn't released their music and it was fun man like i also got to understand like i remember i being clueless about how to release my music right like forget putting it up on streaming platforms but how to get more people to listen to it not that i've cracked it but mm. i learned a few things along the way right, right. so you're so just imparting uh, all your knowledge as you go yeah. which is like great yeah. great that's awesome so okay so last year you recorded songs from a matchbox i mean i absolutely loved the album and i also did get to come to the studio when you recorded it which was really cool yeah. it was like a really nice experience like the studio itself was like just amazing and yeah. Uh, yeah so like how was your experience like recording a first ever album is like a huge thing so what was like your I experience you know how nervous i was uh, so <laughs> I, I think because i crowdfunded an album right like i think i felt yeah. even more able to like make sure it was done the right way i couldn't be like slacking off and uh, you know i had right. to be on it completely and you know what tends to happen with albums in a creative process is that it can take a year for you to put out an album you know what i mean it's that big mm. it's a gigantic mm. process right um so and it's expensive too so it's expensive too but thankfully i had the money then right because i mean mm. it, right because you were not able to do it the right way uh, but yeah i mean i yeah. felt so like the, it was a crazy experience because i literally went to t-shirt factories right um I literally saw the material that they're going to use. I saw what the print oh. is looking like. I went to a T-shirt, fac- uh, a notebook factory. I went to like these framing stu- places. It was great. It was it was amazing because right. it, more of an entrepreneur. You know what I mean? Like even now, yeah, I think, yeah. I think I've sold about six hundred T-shirts or so of like songs from my album. It was crazy, right? Like for an independent That's artist. That's amazing. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's madness. Yeah. In fact, like I have none left. Like I think I have ten of twelve left now, and that also I'm stuck because of this lockdown. I have like three oh, orders to sell, but it's amazing. Oh, like I mean, I never thought that there would be people who would be willing to wear a T-shirt of like an album, but it's it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. So like it really like sort of you got to understand a lot of behind the scenes work, and just like just learned a lot on on the go, which was I think really cool. And yeah. Uh, yeah so. Like what? Okay, so now, like, uh, also, I just want to say some things are better serious. Okay, like this is a real serious interview, but I'm sure people, <laughs> people are like getting to like you know like learn a lot more. <laughs> people are getting to sort of understand like like just understand things a little more like clearer. Um, and yeah. of course, like, um, so you know, like, I want to ask you, what is what do you think is the future of independent music? I mean. Like judging by the talent that's coming, and like there's there's insane yeah. people like who are like putting out music. So yeah, what what's your take yeah. on that? I think the internet is the best thing ever, dude. Like uh, the internet has changed the way uh, musicians can actually uh, reach a larger audience because it's sort of mm. democratized how content works, right? Earlier you had like linear programming where MTV could only play twenty songs a day. Right, mm. nobody stops you from lo- watching fifty YouTube's, fifty uh, YouTube videos, right? Right, right. So, so that's how it's changed, right? Like radio, you could only like if you knew a radio person, that's when, or like if you were coming from a big label, or somebody needed to spend hundred rupees to be able to listen to your music. Imagine how the hard that is, right? You're investing, so it depends right, on right. where your where your CD is placed on that shelf and all of that, right? now it's then mm. it's crazy right you are you're at par maybe you don't have as much money as a big label uh, to spend on your music but you still mm. have uh, you still have so much to do right you can do so much right. with your instagram is a great tool for you to market That's, your yeah music. i mean so many people are just going live every day and yeah. just just singing yeah. for people and the future is crazy because like even labels in the west 
are literally like it's so democratized now it's crazy like the artist decides how much like to spend on a particular song uh-huh. they get to own them it's it's crazy like things are happening and it's because of the internet revolution so right right that's amazing i don't think because i'm struggling with my internet all the time so. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah. Okay, so also okay. So can you play us a song from Songs from a Matchbox, please? Okay, okay, done, done. I'll play. <laughs> okay, cool. This is another one for you. Why can't you just uh, chill out? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, baby. People want to listen to music. Yeah, come on. <laughs> no, no. I'm joking. I'm saying just calm down. Don't be so serious. Oh, <laughs> oh, that way. Okay, sorry. I didn't hear you, but I'll try. <laughs> So songs from a box I think uh, she can it is then She can choose to change my whole world and why won't play She can talk to me so this and why do the same She can back those lies and get away with crime She can put a smile across my face and just stay away from me out the moon and back I know she stay the same she can back those I can get away with crime There's a song in my heart let me play it through This is how I feel I know it's probably true The main go down but I will send the moon back up and start will wait for her But she can roam around the moon and back in night on Tuesday She used to change my whole world and why won't I play She taught me so this and why do you say she could bat those eyes and get away with time She could put a smile across my face and take it away She can roam around the moon and back I don't think they would say But those eyes can get away Right While we all chase love We all chase the cars We all chase the good life With broken hearts I can sing to the cloud Sing to the The world will be back to fame I claim to be this person Not selfish, not greedy But that's not me It's hard to be I hate to be mistaken For someone not needy Well, that's me It's hard to be Oh my god wow that was so good and you mixed the songs up also that was that's smart okay you just want to play two songs so you mixed up two songs into one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay bro you have to play one more later maybe you can play back to the known or something but later on so whenever you want yeah, but yeah. this was really nice this is so good she can sing my favorite songs on the album and um, yeah that was that was amazing city can someone just a city can nice you can re- 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 yeah. release this like this <laughs> yeah okay so uh, okay now this is like a fun question okay uh, so okay you said that some of your greatest inspirations have been john mayer and bob dylan and you know the likes of them uh, but if you were transported to the 1960s uh, who would you see live and why you can't say bob dylan you can say that now But who would you see live and why? So I would, uh, I would love to see. So if I had to point, so multiple man. So like I would love to see the Beatles when they were literally just popping off. Uh, yeah. The the doors, uh, mm. right? 
um i would love to basically i would love to go for woodstock 69 like that's something exactly. i would exactly like yeah so in fact my yeah. uncle uncle was one of the few indians who was at woodstock 69 so he's seen all of these oh, guys oh. he's seen that's jimmy and fred live and shit yeah so yeah i mean these guys for sure the jimmy and nick experience yeah for sure so yeah i mean i think the doors beatles the jimmy and nick experience yeah, right. awesome right interesting okay so um, okay so now if you had to choose between paul mccartney's les paul or eric clapton's fender strat okay stratocaster which which one would you yeah. play uh so i would i would uh, play the fender yeah right okay Right. Uh, even though I haven't, but like I love the sound. Like I love the sound. So yeah, mm, for sure. Mm. Actually, I would, I would, I've played a Les Paul, but I've never owned one. Uh, mm. Yeah. Like Eric Clapton oh, wow. is just like hit the spot, man. So yeah. Of course, of course. I mean, his music is just. I don't even know. Like it, it's one of the hardest I've learned, but it's just so much fun to play as well. Like <laughs> it's insane. Okay, so I just want to ask you, and like we're like halfway through. How does it feel like to be asked some serious questions today? Can't do it. No, you've already been asked a serious question. So how did oh. it feel? How was <laughs> this <laughs> more serious? Zida, Zida, Zida. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So any any like sort of notable like something that you really remember? Any like collaborative projects you worked on recently? Anything you You know, I'd like to share. So, in fact, uh, the next two songs that I'm doing are two Hindi songs. In fact, um, and uh, I haven't written these songs, but I've uh, I've sung on them, and they're both really killer tracks. And I recorded them in the last two to three weeks. Uh, one is oh, with wow. Shover. Yeah, one is with Shover, and one is with Kwab. Uh, and I'm really excited because both are very different. Both yeah. are. both are generally songs that you won't coming you won't expect to come out from me like i would never expect okay. i didn't expect such a thing uh, so i'm really excited <laughs> about both of them actually it should be fun yeah nice and i'm sure everyone's excited now because like other thing in hindi song oh my god guys two of them exactly wow okay so yeah that, that's really cool so like just create a collaboration in this sort of time which is really nice yeah. uh to just sort of you know keep your creativity going and just keep you know churning out cool things and again this are your comfort zone like i think at least because you haven't yeah. done a lot of hindi music yeah. so that's really uh, nice so like how was it like how was your experience doing like uh music that you haven't written is, is that like different uh yeah i mean it's very different but i'm used to it right i sing on a lot of ads and jingles and stuff like that so i've always oh, been right, like right. I've literally written a Hindi rap like since people are shitting on me. Like I've written like a, I remember so I I I wrote a song called Wa Bhai Wa literally like you know like that's the kind of song I've I've written. So it, it goes like बैठे बैठे ना भी बार बोर नहीं अब की बार बाग मेरे साथ थोड़ा और थोड़ा फास मुझे देखकर लोग बोले भाई वा भाई वा भाई वा भाई वा भाई वा भाई वा and like it goes into a draw. <laughs> wow. So they even look at Nazi. So I think he was a sort of one of got that influence on you know, <laughs> and just you know doing that hip hop. That's that's cool. Oh yeah. wow! Okay, I did not expect you to rap right now, so I'm a little bit like uh, in shock. But, <laughs> but I actually wrote that okay. rap also. That's the crazy part because I couldn't yeah, find anyone to do it. Uh, that's pretty yeah, cool. Wow. So okay, okay. <laughs> So um yeah okay so okay can you play us the next song please Okay I'll do back to the note yeah 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 perfect Down to rose I see Rays of light coming from hope. I wait before you so long. I sit tired, wait alone. But today we'll all be one. It's about time. Since the 
Amazing, beautiful song! Wow. Okay, so you just released a live version to this song, which was just amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, your music is. I I don't even know. Like it is this is awesome though. I just feel like I'm in like a you know like a personal concert, <laughs> which is like really nice. <laughs> It's it's really cool. Okay, um, okay. So I think uh, right now, guys, if anybody has any questions for Agav, anything I want to ask him uh, about related to music, anything, anything, just you can send those questions in. And now we get to this new segment that we are starting this 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 month, which is this new filter that we have, which you posted a story of yesterday. So it's the yeah. filter is basically who am I going to connect, collaborate, create with next. and we sort of want to um, we sort of want to encourage creative collaboration and you know just want people to step out of the comfort zone get ideas to you know like collaborate with people and yeah there's just like we just want people to like just go crazy and yeah just get like yeah whatever so um, yeah so what did uh, you got illustrator yesterday um, yeah. so what ideas or do you have for you know possible collaboration and and what is your take on like um, how why is collaboration so important in the creative community like what do you what's your take on that so i think collaborations are really important because it's such a lonely industry to be in hmm right because uh, it's so creative it's like the artist curse right like it's such a lonely journey that you have to take on Uh, hmm. Because you you want to lead a completely different life from like most of your friends. Um, uh, just generally, artists are generally weird people, also, right? We all have our <laughs> like like and yeah. like, obsessive people, right? So yeah, I mean it's hmm. it's just one of those things where I think which is where a community becomes so, so important because you all feel like you're uh, and you know like somehow artists do need validation. I mean like. If somebody compliments you for your song or your work, you are going to feel good, you know, and nobody is not exactly. going to feel bad about yeah. it. 
and it's like you're fetching for compliments but it's always nice to get one you know yeah yeah i agree uh, you like you just a bunch of people uh, to sh- yeah share your music with to collaborate with get new ideas because it's ultimately co- it's a creative space right you can't do it alone uh you can't exactly think of an idea you are at, at some point you are a result of your environment right so if you surround yourself mm. with brilliant people creative you are going to be super creative there is no reason why you won't but if you're sitting in your house and thinking of like yo you're going to take over the creative industry or like think of the best ideas on your own it's not going to happen plus something i learned really early on was that you can't do everything right so if songwriting is my thing i will just do everything to make sure songwriting becomes like my the i become really really good at songwriting right do i need to sit and make my own art or my own videos or uh, record my own music maybe not you know it's about prioritizing hmm. right so, uh, yeah very true people with people right yeah yeah i mean there is also like uh, other issues like you know creative ego because that's like everyone has all creative people yeah. have that sort of creative ego and you know uh, people are not they don't they don't take you seriously sometimes or uh, and yeah. i mean especially when you start out in the industry there's always a ha huh, like this person just like a, you know they just a fresher they don't know much this person is an intern they don't know much so how did, did that ever happen to you and like how did you like overcome that if it did so i mean yeah i mean it's 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 sort of like it's it's in every industry right say imagine you just started out right in say you're a designer right you just start out you're not going to be able to talk to you that fast right of another company maybe like forget your own company like imagine like another company so if you look if you look at artists like that then it's sort of like it's sort of obvious also right if somebody's been doing it for 10 years you need to like sort of like be somewhere to be able to have that conversation with that person also i'm saying and i'm not saying that it's sort of a very restrictive view of looking at things but mm-hmm. i mean i never felt bad about it you know when i messaged like these big guys and i never got a response for it i never felt ba- of course i would have loved it if they'd mentored me more but i still managed to find my own people right who really played a big role in shaping the way i thought and like approach this artist career uh hmm. but at the same time i still understood why they didn't respond to me right because imagine there were bunch of 200 people respond like like reaching out to them for a collaboration or just some advice or whatever right like for them to look at something that they've done right so i know that it yeah. happens in every industry right there are people who have just like come in and started doing this it's not like everything will come to you too easily right and that's the it's like the bitter sweet thing right it takes time but when it happens it feels great also yeah right. i think so then that the the takeaway i think would be that you got to accept uh that okay you know everything won't start coming to me but you have to sort of stay there you have to stay on the path yeah, and not like okay. you know fall back and be like just give up so i think that persistence is sort of really yeah. important which yeah, is yeah persistence uh, and, and consistency you know like the problem with us artists is that consistency is the hardest thing right we we'll get obsessed two months we'll be like oh man we're going to take over this world and then yeah, yeah. you sort of like it is off and then you are like done and deflected you know so consistency yeah. just, just keep pushing you know like just push your agenda keep working hard that's the that's the mm. that i have sort of figured in the last right yeah mm-hmm. right that that's, that's pretty good uh, okay so now coming back to the filter uh, Okay, so what have you like sort of thought of some ideas that you could? Okay, so I'm just like consistency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but okay. uh, yeah, so what ideas did you, have you sort of come up with for uh, you know a possible collaboration with an illustrator? What do you think can be done? And yeah, what's your take? I don't know. I'm always looking for collaborators, right? Like. Uh... there's always so much work that can happen because i firmly believe that the like you can't just make one artwork and be done with it right like there can be so many more key mm. visuals to the music right uh, i'm putting out a new music video for a two year old song because i don't mm. care right like music stands the test of time like good music stands the test of time right um right right so so similarly like i'm really open like for this particular video that i'm putting out on the 11th uh somebody just reached out to me saying man i really like this particular song i have an entire team who would love to work on it um 
and this is our concept i said yeah let's do it and produce it you know what i mean so uh, oh. so so these nice. are the different keep doing it i love to do stuff like if somebody has like an animation project or say any kind of art that they want to make uh, for my music and i mean i'm always doing that like even my back to the known cover art came as that right like i got connected with kasturi by a common friend we did an instagram nice. live literally on, on her instagram oh. and then uh, i sent her this song and she's like i want to make the art for it and 30 days later i got a song with like her art on it so i mean like that's the idea right it's such a collaborative process yeah hmm. uh, also i just started the hanita collaboration so hopefully this weekend she's going to kill me uh, but yeah <laughs> I take very really long also. Uh, so then I mean, you take on everything. So like you've got to uh, give everything. You know, like sort of make a timetable and prioritize the work. I guess. Um. I, yeah, I, it's just yeah, it's hard. Yeah. yeah, but that's nice. It's nice to keep yourself so busy, especially right now when everyone's just you know like a lot of yeah. like alone time plays on people's mental health and. It's exactly. nice to sort of be doing what you love, and that that's good, right? Um, I mean, same with me. I've also been working constantly this whole quarantine. Like aside from the first months, I've just been working with the creator totally. I'm doing freelance projects, so I sort of really like um, you know that, that I yeah, haven't felt like okay, I'm in a quarantine. I'm just yeah. yeah. So that was that yeah. was really great. I, okay, so in fact, in fact, I've been really slacky with my. I've I've actually I've actually got an intern now. You know. uh so <laughs> like message me uh emailed me saying hey i i i really like to work with you and i was like yeah man come on let's do it so now we're working together so like hopefully we'll build out some more things and she she said oh that's stuff. awesome But, yeah so i mean <laughs> if you guys if if there's something that you guys want to like the only problem is i don't even have time to give work you know what i mean like that <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, that's the point now, for sure. So, yeah. Right. That was really nice. Okay. So, like, you reached that point where you have your own intern now, which is, I think, like, a nice milestone in your in your path towards greatness, musical greatness. Maybe. I think maybe. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, you you like you want people to sort of uh, you know with art and illustration, those, those possible collaborations. um and also again you went on live with her and then you sort of did this so i think uh, in the next one guys i think there's going to be another song that i'm going to be illustrating <laughs> i'm just yeah, kidding i'm just kidding but it it, it seems like uh, this thing okay but uh, anyway i think it was a sign if it was a first try in getting illustrator i think it was a sign so yeah. i mean i'm just saying <laughs> and um Yeah. Okay. So coming towards the towards the conclusion of today and the very serious lives that you've been a part of, uh, what's your perspective and thought of you know creativity in purpose? Like, what do you wanna sort of tell other people about? Like, you know, everyone who is in the creative journey, like, should have like about like having a purpose to your uh, to your journey and all of that. So, hmm. what do you wanna tell other people? I don't know. I I it's a It's like one of those generic <laughs> things that I'm going to say, but I think, yeah, I think it's the only thing that I would want to say is that just enjoy it, you know. Like that's mm. the the only thing for yourself. The minute you stop enjoying it, take a break. There's no pressure. Nobody's telling you to do stuff um, because art cannot. You can't make art if you're like under pressure. You know what I mean? It can yeah, only right. happen if you have all the. freedom to think surround yourself with amazing people i think that helps so much don't be in your own silo because i know musicians just or artists in general sometimes just like want to do stuff on their own and stuff like that just like yeah. collaborate like do stuff with people surround yourself with amazing friends who are creative forget like forget artists right like i love stand up comedians because i feel like like more than musician stand up comics are so smart in terms of like how they market themselves and how they do yeah, stuff yeah. and like just the content that they put out i love hang out with them which is why i've done multiple tours and like sora was a great friend and mm, yeah uh, shankar is a really good friend of mine it's because of that like it's just because it's just you have to surround yourself with people it's a really lo- lonely journey and i just wish people would do it more and just keep um doing yeah. it and nishchay what up nishchay 
uh, <laughs> so yeah, Wait, I mean, what? Any anybody who's done a uh, oh, is that is that part? Wait, I'm wait, I'm sorry. Hold on. Is that? Oh my God! Wow. Okay, <laughs> two seconds. Let me just compose. Okay, okay. Continue. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. I'm just a huge fan of Parikar Singh. I can't even. Okay, okay. Sorry. Huh? What? Yeah. <laughs> so no, I think it's just uh, yeah. So just keep doing it. Uh, and uh, oh, is it actually Jibraj? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but anyways, big fan of the band. So. <laughs> yeah. No. So I think uh, just basically surround yourself with amazing people. Just keep working hard. but at the same time don't think that you're in some kind of a race because that's the end of your creativity the minute you mm. think like oh look at that other artist he's putting out like 10 other songs uh, wow he's blowing up is uh, i mean get inspired but don't get jealous you know what i mean like yeah just, yeah it doesn't matter everybody finds their own time and place for things to blow up blow up um, and don't exactly. be like you yeah. blow up basically that's the only thing That's when you yeah, enjoy. I agree. Yeah, and also I think I want to add on to that by saying that I think the more different sort of creative people you surround yourself with, like you've got like comics and you've got, uh, uh, you've got like you know like different kind of friends like in all different creative like industries. So yeah. I think it's really important because you get to learn from each different industry. You get to learn how things work, and you get to sort of. Understand, put that into your work as well, which I think is really like nice because I have a lot of friends that are musicians. I have a few friends that you know are into like different things, and I think that really like helps me as a creative mm-hmm. person myself. And uh, Turio asked me if I prefer uh, Miatal or Parekh and Singh. <laughs> I can't choose. I'm fair. sorry. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna answer because I I can't I choose. I think you just said don't compare artists. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What is this, Akul? Yeah. I mean, you can't uh, listen to the so, live first, but, okay? But even, but even I prefer Parikh and Singh, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I never said that. Okay, I never said that. You, you might be saying that's some answer. Just yeah. saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this has been super fun. Um, and uh, yeah, I am still like, okay, this is like you can, you okay, can I'm, only thank me for making this fun. You can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can say this was me at all. Okay, now that's yeah. nice. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I mean, okay, guys, so I can say please do. Uh, if you if you wanna ever sort of collaborate with us, please let us know. I'm sorry, I'm sort of like a plug in this whole thing, but I can't help it. I have to do this if they're if they're on the live. But but uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, okay. Basically, guys, thank you everybody for being here. Thank yeah. you so much, Raga, for joining us. Even with the with the Wi-Fi, I surprisingly turned out pretty good today. Thank God. And, yeah, um, I'm, I'm very glad. I'm very nervous about. You were nervous, dude. No, that that's like nothing. Okay, please. <laughs> you were to like do a whole live, especially with like this whole code community. It was like extremely. I was like really nervous, but uh, but it's been really great. I I've had like way too much fun. We had such great laughs. I'm sure everyone's enjoyed. um and yeah thank you so much and this is our first kala bhatta sessions guys there's a whole month ahead of us we've got actors we've got designers we've got another musician concerned daniel also coming in and yeah guys everybody just stay tuned and thank you so much again raghav for this long time collaboration so may hopefully many more to come um and yeah thank you so much yeah. everybody enjoy and see you guys yeah. on um Okay, sorry. Wait. Uh, see you guys see you on, on the conversation tonight. <laughs> at, at yeah, at yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Next time we have an actor come. Sorry. Sorry. What are you saying? No, uh, I said that we have an actor coming in next week on uh, on the seventh, Ajwaid Kothari. And yeah, if anyone has any more questions, we have a little bit like more time. We have like ten minutes. If anyone has any questions, and yeah, what were you saying, Raja? No, I was saying that you you guys should curate the conversations on the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm there But every I'm day. Yeah, yeah, I'm missing it. I <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's gonna be nice once we're back in Bombay, and then it's gonna after yeah. two week hiatus, and hopefully we've got some sleep uh, till then yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. So there there aren't any more questions. So bye. Namaste. Namaste. See sure. you soon.
bye thank you. you so much everybody please follow us see you guys and yeah everyone just follow the creator toli collaborate with people and thank you so much for coming here and bye